probably the biggest challenge uh, for young scientists is getting an opportunity to actually do science. I mean, the whole science education process is fundamentally flawed um, because science ultimately is the act of discovering new knowledge. And when you learn about science in school, you're not actually doing science. You're learning the knowledge that people discovered previously and it's like more like studying history of science than it is actually doing science so um, you know if you're if you're lucky enough to to actually be in a science classroom and you're interested in science you're actually extremely lucky at least you got the opportunity to learn about science but to actually get a chance to do science is so hard and you'll always as a young person aspiring to be a scientist, you'll hear people say, well, wait till you get into the laboratory, you know, it's a lot of hard work, it's like drudgery, you know, how do you know you're going to like being in the laboratory? You know you want to be a scientist, but they keep telling you, yeah, but it's a lot of work and, you know, it's hard and all that. So I think that it's really hard in this society, even though, you know, there's opportunities to get into science uh, path, so to speak to get actually into a lab and to get your hands on um, experiments that are actually discovering new knowledge is so hard and it takes so long that most people even by the time they're done with college have at most begun to dapple in that type of experimental science that really is you know what what makes science so much fun so it, it's unfortunate in a way because a lot of people get turned off to science um, during the course of their education because they think it's really boring, like memorizing the parts of the cell or all of the different bones in the body. Um, and some people love that, but it's not really science, right? So, you know, I think that that's one of the huge challenges for young people is getting beyond all of that. And, um, you know, the other challenge, of course, is that getting opportunities to work in a research environment, you have to be really persistent just getting your foot in the door.